What's going on, YouTubers? Here, so a different little video for you today. This is Larry TJR Sim here, and today I found a, a well, not today, but I've been testing out this new tool that I ran across, and it's called I'll bring the center here FPS VR running um, or FPS VR. Sorry, it is running. <laughs> so, anyway, this little tool is very, very handy. It seems to work uh, exclusively for the um, the Vive and Vive Pro, uh, but it also I've seen a lot of questions, people asking if it works for Windows mixed reality headsets and stuff. So I'm using the Samsung Odyssey uh, right now, and I am happy to report that it does work with that, which I saw that in the notes, uh, not in the FPS VR notes, but uh, just people confirming that it does work. Uh, so, you know, I downloaded it. It was just a few bucks. It wasn't too much. Uh, let me see. Store page. Let's look at the store page real quick here. It is very positive reviews. Only 20 so far. I'll have to give mine. Uh, $3.99. So, if you can spare 4 bucks, I mean, it doesn't matter to me, but this is actually a pretty useful tool. Um, you know, a lot of people that use, say, the Rift and stuff, you have the Oculus... Uh, tool toolkit there for that to tell your FPS uh, when you're in game. And obviously, there's some games that actually will give you your FPS, but most of them do not. Uh, so to, the Oculus uh, toolkit is great for for the Rift, but for us uh, Windows Mixed Reality people uh, that use a higher end headset, uh, we didn't have anything. Well, now we do. So this is it here. And what you're going to need to do is uh, have at least one controller. There's my windows here. Zoom up a little bit here. So you're going to want to have at least one controller. And, uh, you know, for, for racing, for sim racing rather, uh, it's not like you can hold a controller at the same time and, and drive to check your FPS. So... What I do is, and, and this is just showing it here, look down, I just position my controller uh, on, my, uh, on my wheel stand here at a certain angle and uh, just turn it on. So every time I go launch uh, a game, I go ahead and have this program actually running in the background anyways, and then it'll, uh, it'll tell me what's going on in game. So this is Project Cars 2, so this, is, this has been very handy a long time ago when I was... Uh, Doing a lot of testing as far as uh, having to not look out of my headset at uh, at the counter that's on the screen counter as far as FPS goes. Uh, but yeah, this is freaking awesome. Uh, and for four bucks, I mean, you can't beat it. So anyway, I like it. Look at that RC battery charge. Uh, that's my controller battery telling me the nine nine percent. Now let's go to the uh, actual one that you can see on the screen here. Uh, so what we got going on here is, you know, start with Steam VR, uh, minimize the tray if you want to, controller side left or right. So you can click on that and change it to the right controller or the left controller. Uh, it seemed to work for sim racing better for the left controller for some reason. I, I don't know why, uh, but it did. Um, oh, actually, you know what? No, I had an easier time mounting my left controller just because the way they're shaped uh, to my uh, zip tying it to my rig. Uh, in, in an appropriate positions where I could see it on screen a little bit better with the left controller. So yeah, uh, no fault of the program. But um, anyway, uh, save history, you can turn it on, run minimized, uh, hide overlay, stick to under. Uh, this is basically if you were to turn your controller over, uh, you would see it under it. And this is what you want to have. You don't want it on bottom, you want to have it on under uh, so you can see it all the time. Uh, and then uh, center marker that didn't really seem to matter microphone active okay cool uh, not really sure what that does I uh, haven't tested that part of it uh, oversized big so you can make it normal size let's look over here uh, where'd you go oops let me recenter here so that's normal size, right? And let me go back up. Make it big. So you can see quite a bit of difference there for big to normal. Big. Normal. Big normal. Okay, you get it. Anyway, uh, you know, opac opacity. Why can't I say that word? Opacity? 
uh, you know, how, how much you can see through it. So 90%, 100 percent you see through it it's very dim now at 50 percent 50 is the lowest it seems to go uh so you can see through the app uh, i usually keep it on the default which was 80 uh works fine i guess 100 is is good too really it doesn't matter uh but i do like to see i'm gonna try out 50 for a little while uh so i can see my guy's arm move around anyway <laughs> it works really good uh now super show frame rate graph that's what you want to have on uh, super sampling manual. I thought this was to adjust the super sampling in the uh, in the game itself. It's not actually. What that is for is to adjust the super sampling uh, in the Steam VR app. So you'll see here uh, Steam VR 170 uh, super sampling. It just picks whichever one you have, whatever the total is is what it picks, and it puts it right there. So. Um, this pre-application setting that is your app your app itself uh, where you'd go set it in steam vr itself and uh it, it reads off 170 i suppose you can change it here but it has not been my finding that uh changing it here actually affects the game uh you should be able to actually change it here as well but i believe you'd probably have to reload the game and once you uh, close the game off, this goes back to, to uh, grayed out, actually. So anyway, I don't really use that for this case. All I really want to do for, v for VR racing is to see my FPS. Uh, oh, you know, let's not skip around again here. Uh, asynchronous reprojection, interleave reprojection. These are the same settings you have in Steam VR that you can turn on and off. Always on reprojection. So if you have a game that's... Uh, continually always staying in 45 fps but then uh you know comes up to 50 or 60 and it kind of messes with your eyesight more when it does that you can just put it always on reprojection this is really a setting that you could do in the steam vr it's just can't can't comes over here to make it a little bit easier to do so anyway i haven't i have messed with these two uh they seem to work fine but honestly i leave these off all the time uh, and I just have my settings set up to where I'm getting the highest frame rate I can. Uh, you know, I'm shooting between the uh, 70 to 90 FPS all the time anyways. So when I'm out on track, uh, I can test out to see, you know, you're doing snow, say in Project Cars 2, or you're doing uh, rain. You can see exactly live uh, what it's doing. You know, when you're in the traffic, when you're down the front straight where the stands are, all that great stuff. Uh, you can also see your GPU usage, your memory, 5.6 out of 11 gigs of memory. So this is your video, you know, your GPU, your video card. Uh, so my video card is getting used a lot, uh, 95%. This is a 1080 Ti. Uh, so it's getting taxed basically on 170% super sampling. And uh, I usually run 170 in the daytime races, but if I'm gonna do a nighttime race, I usually drop it down around 150. But uh, anyway, uh, go check out my other videos as far as optimal settings for Project Cars 2, as well as other ones, uh, popular sim racing games. But just for this to read off, you know, what it's actually telling you live, you know, CPU frame rate. And you know, you see all these little yellows, uh, you can tell that you're getting this, you know, it's taxing your GPU. Uh, before I built my new computer, you know, my CPU was taxed just as much or actually harder than my uh, GPU. Uh, so now I can see that it's, it's actually not hardly taxed at all, which is great. Um, anyway, all kind of great little uh, information here. I, I figured this would just be a quick little video to, to show you uh, this cool app, man. I mean, for four bucks, you can't beat it. I'll leave the link down in the description to the Steam free to go pick it up but if you're using a, a samsung uh, odyssey it obviously works great with that uh and then uh it should work with any really uh, mixed reality headset uh and obviously it does work with the vive as well so anyway great little tool to use hope you enjoyed this hope this was informative to help you set up your your uh your optimal settings but you know just always come on back to my channel if you want to and I had already taken the work out of it for you, but I know this is being a tool. I'm going to definitely be using this going forward and retesting um, some things as far as, uh, let's see if I can crank up the super sampling even more in certain scenarios. That's just for my own knowledge. 
uh, but are, are up it up to like 20 cars instead of just 15 cars or something like that. So and see how it really affects it live. Instead of always having to peek out your headset to look at your FPS counter that's on your monitor, you know. So this is really, really handy. So anyway, that's it, guys. We'll check you later. I'm out.